Hello, welcome back to our FCS Dynasty in NCAA Football 2006. Today is the start of week 8. This is game 1, number 14, Jacksonville hosting the Jackson State Tigers in an SEC matchup. And they got a pretty good quarterback, Dominic Sparks, true freshman quarterback, 12 touchdowns on the season. But the ground game has not been very kind to the Tigers this season. Just one touchdown rushing. But the receiving core has some decent talent there. 40 catches for their top guy, 386 yards, four touchdowns. They are just one and four on the season so far. Their only win coming against Southern, which they won 24 to 21 last week, actually in week number seven. Uh, this is going to be a pretty good matchup, I think. Though Jackson State does have some decent talent. Uh, they do need to get some more experience for these players, but look for them to be really good in the next year or so. Uh, the Dolphins roster is very solid, pretty even across the board. Uh, a couple special teams players as well, which Quasi Sands has made a pretty big difference this season for the Dolphins. He's perfect 6 of 6. And the Dolphins are on offense first. Michael Hines, play action, looking to throw, throws it up. Mr. Highlight has it for the first down, the 45-yard line. That's his 24th catch of the year. He also has 10 touchdowns. Play action again from Hines, but he's sacked immediately by High. His fifth career sack. Third down and 15 now. Hines, the throw. He's pressured again. Tries to take off. He's dropped after maybe one yard. So the Tigers getting some pressure early and often so far. And here's the pump from Dalton Hayes. That's going to go out of bounds around the 15-yard line. Nice punt by the freshman. Second down and 10 for the Tigers. Over the middle is Choice. He will pick up nine yards, so a pretty decent start so far for the Tigers. Looking for the first down, third down and one. Sparks over the middle, and he finds Tatum to move the chains. Tigers having more success so far than the Dolphins. There's a nice run from Jenkins. Bring up second down and two, and they will keep it on the ground. No, it's play action, and he finds Tatum again for the first down pickup. 35 yards passing on this drive for Sparks. Jenkins, toss play, left side. He'll pick up six or seven. Allen Davidson, the number one defensive back prospect for the EFL on the tackle. Parker Palmer, nice tackle for loss there. Bringing up fourth down and fourth for the Tigers. Sparks hit as he throws and he finds a choice anyway for the first down. Huge throw from the freshman. Sparks looking to toss it again. Left side, Allen Davidson makes a nice play to deflect that ball away. Third down and eight now. Sparks, left side again to Jenkins, but he is short again. And that is Devin Rambo on the stop. Tigers send on the field goal unit, and he could have made that from 60. My goodness. 13 plays, 68 yard drive. Took over three minutes off the clock for the Tigers. And they're on top three now. Dukes McGee, left side off tackle. Dukes McGee, nice juke move. Up to the 40 yard line, big game to move the chains. Tyler Matthews on the carry. He's going to fumble the football and it's recovered by Jackson State. Oh my goodness. First fumble of the season for Tyler Matthews. That's his fifth of his career. Sparks the throw now. Tigers with some momentum here, but Sparks is going to be sacked by Zane Williams and that is his fifth of the season. Sparks right side picked off. That's Adams, non-subscriber cornerback. They return it up to the 43-yard line, and the Dolphins are back in business. Finds the throw. Deep shot right side. Jermaine Marshall has it inside the 30-yard line of Jackson State. Right, keeps it on the option now, and he'll pick up eight yards off the left side. Just 23 yards rushing there in the first quarter for the Dolphins, and Hines is going to be dropped for a loss again here. And that'll bring up fourth down and four for the Dolphins. Quasi Sands on for the kick. And the kick is up, and he pushed it just to the left. Sands misses for the first time in his career. He is now 6 of 7. Sparks sacked again by Zane Williams, his second of the ball game. 13th sack of his career. Sparks, deep shot over the middle and finds choice. I'm not sure what Malik Bean was doing, but he did not even attempt a play on the ball. Sparks, hit as he throws, finds Jenkins. And he'll pick up five yards. Davidson on the tackle. His fourth of the ball game. Gives him 19 for the season. Sparks throws it again. Left side. Allen Davidson gets beat. Choice. First down inside the 30-yard line. What a great throw from the freshman quarterback. 
Tigers having quite a bit of success here today. And Allen Davidson makes a nice play there to deflect the pass away. Second down and 10. Sparks, deep shot to the end zone, and it's caught by Blumenthal for the score. Marcus Pedersen was in the area, but again, did not make a play on the ball. Here's Hines, option, and McGee breaks loose. He's in the open field. Look out, Jukes McGee is gone. What a move he put on all of the defense right there. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> what a great run from Jukes McGee. Dolphins finally get on the board. It's 10-7 now as Price gets the first down and more in the open field in Dolphin territory. Down to the 42-yard line. 175 yards of offense today for Jackson State. Sparks right side. Caught again by Tatum. He's having himself a great game so far here in the first half. Second down at inches. Sparks. Bro, he's going to be sacked this time, but there is a flag for the face mask. And that was on Frank Frazier. That would have been his third sack of the season. Instead, it's a penalty. And on that first down there. Marvin Joseph a little upset on the sideline. Third down and nine now for Sparks. And the Tigers wide open as Blumenthal he lays out for the catch. Does he get the first down? No, he doesn't. Fourth and one. And they give it off to Jenkins. And he's got the first down easily. Running over a linebacker in the process. Tigers inside the 15-yard line. The end zone. Touchdown again. This time it's Cutler. His first catch of the ball game. And the Tigers take a two-score lead yet again here in Jacksonville, Florida. Hines looking to answer now for the Dolphins. And he's going around right side. And he's going to take off. Jukes a man out of his shoes. Past the 40 to the 45-yard line. Great run by the sophomore quarterback. Well, left side wide open was highlighting over through his target. And there is a 15-yard penalty on the defense. High hits the quarterback late. Hines, pump fake, throws it deep to the end zone. Jermaine Marshall comes down for the score. Touchdown, Dolphins. And they close the gap again, 17-14. Sparks, he's sacked. And who is it? That's Zane Williams again, his third of the ball game, seventh. On the season, the Dolphins will get the ball back here with less than 30 seconds remaining here in the first half. Highlight from his own 14-yard line. Goes up the left sideline, past the 40, past midfield. Highlight gets tripped up by the referee at the 35-yard line. Oh, my goodness. Talk about a 12th man here. Hines going to roll around. 10 seconds left here in the half. Hines inside the 20. Jukes out of bounds at the 16-yard line. And they're looking to get in the end zone again here. And Hines is going to throw it up to highlight. And he comes down with two feet in bounds for the pro touchdown catch right there from Mr. Highlight. And the Dolphins will take the lead as we enter halftime. 21-17. What a throw from Michael Hines. Put it where only his man can get it. And Highlight comes down with a highlight catch. There's the thumbnail right there, folks. What a play. 21-17 here in the third quarter. Jackson State looking to get that lead back. And Sparks finds his man open. And that's Jenkins. First down and more. Cutting back to the inside. Huge play right there. Devin Rambo on the tackle. Freshman linebacker with 25 tackles on the season now. Sparks wide open. Tatum. He is destroyed by Marcus Pedersen. What a hit. That was a nine-yard pickup, though. Sparks hit as he throws. Finds Cutler. His second catch. His other one was the score in the second quarter. Sparks, pressure, throws it left side, caught. Cutler again, and he's in the end zone, but they mark him just shy of it. About an inch short of the end zone. Sparks to throw again. Left side wide open, broken coverage there. Choice is in for the score. And the Tigers, even though they're one and four on this season, are just playing phenomenal football here. As Hines finds Christian Hart wide open, and Jukes a man out gets inside Tiger territory. Dolphins looking for answers here today. The defense has given up quite a few points, and Hines just running for about 10 miles. My goodness. Out of bounds around the 30 yard line. 64 yards for him today on the ground. He's closing in on 400 for this season. And Hines will roll around again, throws it up, and that's Hart open and inside the 15 yard line. Down inside the red zone. I like it. Third down and 12, though. 
another long situation here. And that pass is picked off by Weaver. Not a good throw from Michael Hines. His first pick of the ball game. Eighth of the season. Now he had one really, really bad game this season where he threw a bunch of picks. And he's really settled down. So that just was not a good decision to throw it across the middle of the field like that. But the defense comes through and gets the stop. And the Dolphins are back on the field on offense. And here's Jukes McGee, late pitch. And Jukes McGee with a nice spin move in the open field. Jukes McGee is gone again. What a phenomenal move that he put on that defender. Oh my goodness. And how about Michael Hines holding on to the football until the very last moment. And then pitching it out to his halfback. What a spin move on the cornerback. My goodness. Jukes McGee, two touchdowns today. Gives him five on the season. He had seven just last year. Sparks, right side. Blumenthal has the catch. And that is the eighth tackle for Marcus Pedersen, I believe. Sparks, deep shot, man, wide open, right side. Huge play by Malik Beam to hit that ball away. Oh my goodness, that would have been a huge pickup for the Tigers. Sparks over the middle, picked off. Malik Beam was standing right there. There was no receiver in sight. Beam with his third pick of the season, 10th for his career, he hit double digits. Second down and seven, possibly the final play of the third quarter. Deep shot over the middle, and Hines overthrows his target. Medlock comes away with a pick. Hines' second interception here today. Gives him nine on the season. 27 for his career. Sparks throwing right side. Picked off again. Devin Rambo down the left sideline. Inside the 15-yard line. Rambo gets his first career interception. And what a play right there by the freshman to jump the route. That'll be the end of the third quarter. 28-24, Dolphins on top, looking to take a two-score lead. Hines will have it here. Not a defender in sight. Oh, my goodness. What a play on the read option from Michael Hines. His seventh touchdown run of the season. 19th for his career. And the Tigers are falling apart now here in the fourth quarter. Sparks is sacked. That's Parker Palmer, his third sack of the season. And he's going to be sacked again. Parker Palmer, two sacks today. Not a bad day at the office, and he hits the quarterback again. What a game here for Parker Palmer, the freshman defensive end. My goodness. And here is Jukes McGee, right side. Stiff arms, a defender. He has scored on three different moves here today. A juke, a spin, and now showing the power with a stiff arm. Leading to a 70-yard touchdown run. His third score of the game. And he's got six touchdowns on the season. He's just one away from tying his career high from last year with seven. What a performance here today from Jukes McGee. My goodness. Now, that might actually be the thumbnail, folks. I know I showed you two here today. I just haven't decided which one I want to use. We might have to go with Jukes McGee because of the performance he's had. Here's a deep pass to Cutler. And he's gone. Not sure what happened to the coverage there. But Malik Bean does not have the speed to get up there and catch a wide receiver running in the open field like that. They're going to go for two points here. Make it a ten-point game. But Sparks is dropped. That's a face mask. They will get another try. That was on Zane Williams. They're going to try it again. Sparks. Has a man wide open in the back of the end zone. That's choice. And that's the same exact play they scored a touchdown on earlier. Back to a 10-point ball game. And here is Jukes McGee. Left side off tackle. And he gets it up past the 40-yard line. What a performance from him today. A career game for Jukes McGee. High snap for Hines. He's going to roll out right side. Takes off. He spins. Hurdles a defender. Still going inside the 40-yard line. Great run. By the quarterback, that gets him over 400 rushing yards for the season. And he'll try to throw it here, but he is sacked. Seven hurries today for the Tiger defense. Three sacks. And we got another high snap here for Hines. Throws it over the middle, almost picked off. Just six of 17 today, 154 yards, two touchdowns, two picks. The Tigers get the ball back again. Less than two minutes remain here in the ball game. Third down. The Tigers sparks left side, dropped by the receiver. His first drop today. First drop we've seen at all from this receiving core. Fourth down. Sparks, and as he throws, deflected away. That play was made by Parker Palmer, the five star defensive end, hitting the quarterback. Here's a deep shot, and the Dolphins are still throwing it. Highlight down to the six yard line. 
They're looking to put this game away for good. Jukes McGee finds the end zone again. He's got seven touchdowns this season, which ties his record from last year. 49-32 is the final score here in Jacksonville, Florida. Huge win. The Tigers, they came prepared. They gave the Dolphins all they had. Their freshman quarterback had a phenomenal performance today. And I'm really looking forward to seeing him for the next couple years here in the SEC. Dolphins improved to 5-1 on the season. Tigers fall to 1-5. But negative 5 rushing yards today for the Tigers. They really didn't try to run it at all. But their freshman quarterback, 444 passing yards. He did throw three picks. But <laughs> plenty of room for this team to improve. So look for the Tigers to be contenders here in the SEC in the next year or so. 21 points in the fourth quarter for Jacksonville. Really helped them pull away here in the end and come away with a victory. Michael Hines, 7 of 18 today. 195 yards, two touchdowns, two picks. Uh, I think he had, he had very close to 100 rushing yards today as well. Uh, just 38% passing. He was sacked three times as well, along with 41. Jukes McGee, 253 yards today on 10 carries, four touchdowns. Definitely the best performance we have ever seen from Jukes McGee. He had just over 1,000 uh, rushing yards last season, 1,007 with seven touchdowns. He's, he's on pace to shatter that record that he had last season. Highlight with one drop today, he had a touchdown which gives him 11 on the season. Jermaine Marshall had a touchdown as well. He's got three now on the year, nine for his career. Highlight with 22 for his career. And has his third drop of the season, 13th for his career. He, he definitely has a case of the dropsies. And, you know, we have not seen a whole lot from Deshaun Harris this season. Just five catches, 86 yards. We did not see him at all today uh, with one touchdown. He had one huge game last year. And I believe it was against uh, Jacksonville State, if I'm not mistaken, where he had four touchdowns in three quarters and got hurt, which that's that's half of his career touchdowns in one game. But hopefully we can see a little bit more of him as the season progresses. Three picks for the defense today. Malik Bean had one. Devin Rambo gets his first of his career. Zane Williams had nine tackles and three sacks today. He now has... 35 tackles on the season, seven sacks, and just a boatload of tackles for a loss. He's an absolute menace. One of the top EFL prospect linebackers here in the FCS dynasty. Wazi Sands misses his first career field goal today. He is six of seven now, but he just barely missed it. It was a great attempt. I mean, you can't be perfect all the time, right? Look for him to rebound in week number nine. Highlight should have had a punt return for a touchdown today. He was <laughs> Mike Tomlin. <laughs> the referee was on the field and got right in his way. McGee, Hines, Williams, players of the game for the Dolphins, Sparks, Cutler, and Weaver. Look at that. 439 passing yards for a true freshman quarterback. Absolute monster. Week nine, Dolphins will be traveling to take on the Alcorn State Braves as they continue their SEC play. Our next game, which will be out later, Idaho State travels to take on the Northern Colorado Bears. I will see you guys with that one soon. Take it easy, guys.